welcome to another edition of USA Up All Night. I'm your bedtime buddy, Rhonda, and have I got a terrific evening plan for you. Showgirls rollerblading in the nude? <laughs> no better. I'm taking you to Fangoria, the number one monster magazine's horror party. This Hollywood party should have plenty of gruesome makeup and creepy costumes. And that's just the agents. Tonight is also special because we have a Linnea Quigley Film Festival just for you. We'll be showing two of Linnea's most popular films, Vice Academy and Vice Academy 2. Plus, we'll be joining Linnea at the horror party. You know, if all Vice squads had women who look like Linnea on their side, <laughs> crime would be cleaned up in an Leavenworth minute. After all, criminals would probably turn themselves in to get frisked by Linnea and her friends. Oh well, it's time for us to go to our first film because I've got to change it to something more appropriate for our horror party. Something that will scare you all. Oh, I know. I'll dress up as a nun. That should do it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Raisin. Your husband's got to go. He is under arrest. You're out of here, pal. All right, for being obsolete. Oh, okay, audience, just straighten up there. It's Officer Rhonda reporting for duty. Miss Devonshire and the cadet officers have put me in the mood for a nice undercover arrest. I wonder who's left at the PTL club. <laughs> Hello, 911, Officer Rhonda, how may I serve you? Oh, hi, Linnea. Yeah, I'm just about ready to go to meet you at the Fangoria Horror Party. What? Well, I thought you were going to bring the handcuffs. No, don't worry about it. I've got them in every color you could possibly want or need. <laughs> See you in a bit. Bye. Okay, pal. You're out of here. You can visit them on visiting day. Let's go. It's Rhonda here. Welcome back to USA Up All Night and Fangoria's party. Things are really frightening here. You know, if you look around, you'll see a lot of scary and gruesome people. I mean, doesn't it look like something from your worst nightmare? Oh, uh, Linnea, Linnea, quickly come over here. You don't look like you're from any scary film. You look like you belong in a, in a parade of, of dreams. Our audience dreams. No, wait, just tell me, though. We're dressed alike. You found out my designer, and you, and you wore... It's, it's Linnea Quigley. Vice Academy Night is what it is. <laughs> Vice Academy Night. But it is quite a, a parade of gruesome people. What do you think? Well, I hate to miss a parade of men, even if they are monsters. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> well, let's go back to our film, Vice Academy. Um, look, look, Linnea, check, check this guy's out. His hair is, like, molting. Can we get your... Can we get your eye? Uh, that's not the kind of nose job I want. We'll be back. <laughs> Yo, guy, bad breath. Uh, uh, really bad. Oh, hi. It's Armando Creeper over there. How you doing, Armando? Love the nails. It's got Rhonda's beat tonight. Anyway, how about the makeup on those gals in our film, Vice Academy? I think they kind of look like they belong here at the Fangoria Horror Party. Okay, you guys, let's go to the commercial, and while you're gone, I'll see if I can find that really scary monster. Has anyone seen the Richard Simmons monster? We'll be back. at the incredible Fangoria Horror Party. Well, you know, Linnea, it is right after Christmas, but we have that Christmas spirit because in L.A., anything crazy can happen like these people. Aren't they incredible? <laughs> now, we have plenty of scary monsters, but we also have the most incredible star here of Vice Academy, Linnea Greeley, and Vice Academy 2 also. Now, Linnea, we're going back to our film, but I want to know, tell me, what's going to happen next? Well, you're going to see a bunch of girls dressed like hookers running down the street. Oh, come on. How do you know that? Well, because almost every scene in the movie has that. Oh, Linnea, you heard it here first from Linnea Quigley. Now, you guys go back for more red lipsticks and short skirts on USA Up All Night. We've done our job, and we have our sticks. Watch it. Yeah. Anybody want to be arrested? <laughs> Hiya, kids. We're back with USA Up All Night. And just like Dee Dee and Shawnee in our film, we're saying bloody 
of action here at Fangoria Horror Party. What do you think about that, Linnea? Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh, my God! Help! Police! Poli oh, I am one. Um, I'm coming! I'm coming! You guys go to commercial! I'm coming, Linnea! Here I come! <laughs> it's Ron here, and welcome back to USA Up All Night! Fangoria Horror Party. We're having a great time, but look around when they have these creepy, sleazy characters. Doesn't it make you just want to turn in your sad card? Yeah, and wait till you see the next scene from Vice Academy. These guys are an improvement over the characters who play the porn producers. And speaking of producers, you're probably wondering who this gentleman is sitting in the middle. No, not sleazy, and the incredible Joe Dante, producer. No, 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 no. But producer, director of The Howling, and... And Gremlins 1 and 2. Classics. Now, now, Joe, what is it like to be an incredible director and directing these incredible actors and actresses? Well, the best thing is it gets you into situations like this. Possibly the most serious thing you've ever done, isn't it? Being here right now, yes. yes. You're just overwhelmed with this. I am. And USA is my favorite network because it's got the little USA in the corner, so you can always tell what you're watching. Could you just like do like a little Oscar acceptance speech? You know, we're a movie show. What would it be so, like? What would you say? I did it all myself. <laughs> Good for you, Joe. Well, Rhonda, maybe he can put us in one of his movies. I say that we, you know what? We're cops tonight. Let's take him in because you know why? Has he used us? No, he hasn't used us. I say that we take him in, arrest him, bring him to an all-night casting session until he does. What do you say? Yeah, that's a felony, Joe. You're under arrest. Do you have anything to say? Your last word? Doesn't sound bad. Thanks. Let's go back to Vice Academy. And while you're gone, Lene and I will try to make this arrest. Oh, I've got him. Let's go. Come on. You're out of here, pal. <laughs> We're back here at Fangoria Horror Party, and we're on USA. Yeah, with the monsters. It's run here at USA up all night at the Fangoria Horror Party, and look who I found, my very good friend Gilbert Gottfried. I'm just going to give him a little nibble. Gee, I don't know how to say this, Gilbert, but you kind of look like a butthead tonight. <laughs> anyway, you're, you are the man responsible for creating all these things. This is Screaming Man George. No, mad. Man. You are mad. Wait, wait, yes. wait. Some of your creations, we have Gary Shanling, we have Roseanne <laughs> Barr. No. <laughs> Tell us about some of these incredible creations, because well, you are um, mad. Yes, well, this is um, one of the scenes um, right before he gets inside out. Ooh. And, um, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> lips for days. Eat well, your heart out, Kim Basinger, and? Well, these are actually not from the movie. This is the recent my work. It kind of relates to the society theme. All right, just tell me, Screaming Mad, what do you eat that makes you create these things? <laughs> what is your diet? Because you are mad. Well, it's uh, Japanese food, you know? <laughs> Ooh, too much raw fish. Okay, anyway, you guys go back to our film Vice Academy and see if the cadets clean up their town. And uh, maybe you guys should look into Vice Academy. It could help your social yeah. life. Lip. I don't believe what I do for this show. <laughs> Oh, it's Ron here, and you're at the Apple Night at the Fangoria Horror Party. Doesn't this makeup just really do justice to her eyes? <laughs> anyway, we've got our special guest over here, Linnea Quigley. Now, Linnea, did you always want to be an actress? Well, no. My first love when I, when I came out to California was plumbing. I went to plumbing school. I mean, I can fix pipes like you would not believe. So that's good, I mean, because your husband probably can't do a darn thing, right? No, I do all the work. I, I, you know, I do the grouting and putting in faucets and things like that. And when the toilet runs. If there was only an Oscar for plumbing, but maybe there will be. Now, I know you're just kidding because everyone loves you. And, um... Uh, and as an actress, not as a plumber, don't you agree? And uh, what was your favorite role as a plumber or as an actress? Well, because there was a lot of plumbing in it, Return of the Living Dead, because I got to be under rain machines. I could fix them, you know, if they clogged up. <laughs> but there was a big budget in this film, I know. 
<laughs> now, now we're, we're dressed like cops tonight. You think we should like go out to a Winchell's donut shop? Oh, I'd love it if I can get an apple fritter. I'm dying for one. Okay, we'll get one. I'm sure one of our friends here can definitely help us. And you know, we know so many actresses in this town. Let's see, who can we talk about? Who can we trash? Ooh, I'm trying to think. Oh. Uh, who would you like to trash? Uh, 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 uh Pee Wee. <laughs> Pee Wee's not an actress, is he? <laughs> we'll be back with Marvel and Mayor right after this. Pee Wee was a guy because you know how he got in trouble from doing what he you did. You never know. Oh. <laughs> it's Ron Deere in USA up all night at the fabulous Fangoria Horror Party. Woo, can you just feel the energy? Check that monster out. Now, do you think the creator maybe never read Playboy, but a lot of National Geographic's one too many, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I haven't seen this many scary people since the last time I did dinner theater. It's now time to go back to our film, Vice Academy, and see whose skirt is shorter, Holly's or Dee Dee's. At least it's not Miss Devonshire's. Talk about a sight of horror. Ooh. Maybe too much retin-A on the skin. <laughs> Ron here on USA, up all night at the Fangoria Horror Party. Check this guy out. Ew, slimy. Ugh. I think maybe one of Rhonda's beauty tips is he could use a little turpentine astringent. <laughs> you guys go to commercial, and we'll be back for more beauty tips right after this. Everybody, it's Rhonda, your midnight morsel on USA, up all night trying to figure out who are the monsters and who are the car salesmen. Salesmen, you know, those guys have big mouths, kind of like my friend Gilbert here. Gilbert, I told you to quit screaming. And check out those nose hairs. Can you see those nose hairs? That's what happens when you hit that certain age, which we won't talk about. I think it's now time to go back to our film Vice Academy and see if Dee Dee and Chucky can keep their relationship out of America's sleaziest videos. Shut your mouth! Oh, hi everybody! And welcome back to USA Up All Night! We're here at the Fangoria Horror Party. Thanks for letting me borrow that. I'm here with my very close and personal friend. You are looking very lovely tonight. What is your name? Well, your teeth are kind of rotten, but you're rather discreet. You're wearing this very nice lace thing over the girls and with child. You know, standing here next to you, all gooey like this, kind of reminds me of my very close personal friend, Gilbert Gottfried. I, I know, I get the same reaction when I say his name. But I want to remind all of you to watch him every Saturday night, same time, same place, on the USA Network. So, do you say you're related to Gilbert on his mother or father's side? Can you speak for your mom? Up all night. We'll be back. We've got him. We're taking you in, pal. You want to know what the charges are? Not dressing as a monster and impersonating a police officer. Do you have anything else to add to that, Linnea? Yes, he wasn't watching Vice Academy. That's another count. Well, he will be now, because that's where we're going back to. We're going back to Vice Academy, and he'll be watching which one? He's going to be watching one and two. One and two. One and two. One and two. You're you think these guys are scary? Rhonda's going to find pictures of the Gabor sisters in the morning. We're talking scary. Now, I told you, Santa, this is what happens to you when you don't give Rhonda what she wants. Oh, hi, gang. I know that you're all anxious to see what Holly and Dee Dee wear in the next scene, but that's just going to have to wait. Let's go to the final scene from our film, Vice Academy, and see what the girls get for graduation. Ooh, maybe it's a bra. Maybe Santa will give them a bra, right? Good Santa. Party with my very special guest, Linnea Quigley. Now, Linnea, did you ever have a chatty Kathy that looked like this doll? Well, not exactly. Pretty scary, huh? Ooh. Anyway, we've had a good time here tonight. Did you have a good time tonight? Oh, yes. I've made a lot of nice new friends, and some of them don't even ooze. Ooh. I can't say that about some of the guys I date. 
But anyway, that, that's very, <laughs> very attractive. You know, we've just finished up Vice Academy 1, and it's time to go to our other film, Vice Academy 2. Now, how does this one differ from Vice Academy 1? Well, in this one, I, I run around a lot in red pumps. Oh, red pumps instead of black pumps. Why? Well, it's a, it's a different role for my character. It's very stimulating, very intellectual. We're all going to love it. Let's go to Linnea's other film, Vice Academy 2, for more shoe action. Now, what is it about men in high heels? Well, well, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I do. When but you, the higher they are, the pumps. Yeah, yeah. the higher, well, the higher they are, we'll be better. We'll be better. Hi, gang. Boy, it's great to be back at my place and out of that police uniform. On the ride home, I got pulled over, and the cop and I started reading each other our rights. Funny thing is, he asked me to give him a strip search. Talk about a twist. Well, let's go to commercial, and we'll be back with more of USA Up all night. Everybody, that was Linnea Quigley, and she wanted me to tell you that even though she is undressing a lot in this film, that's not what real vice squads are all about. No, most of them keep their clothes on. However, the police captains are another story. Let's go back to our film Vice Academy 2 for more nudity. <laughs> I mean, Law and Order. <laughs> Hi, gang. It's Rhonda, your midnight movie mistress, hoping you're enjoying our film, Vice Academy 2. And if you're not, well, I'll send an officer over with a warrant to help change your attitude. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to USA Up All Night. <laughs> That's the sound of the Rhonda I mail call. <laughs> Let's check this letter out. My dearest Rhonda, Saturdays used to be a splendid day. After working all week long, I would look forward to this free day with great anticipation. Saturdays were filled with putzing around the house, watering the lawn, playing with the dog, and generally doing all the little things that need to get done. This is how it used to be. Now my Saturdays are filled with sleep. The house is falling apart, the lawn is dead, and the dog is fat. All because my Friday nights are spent laughing along with you to the wee hours of the morning. You have proved to be a better release after a week of hard work than those past relaxing type of things. Thanks. I wouldn't change a thing and my water bill has gone down. Your fan, Dante. Wow, that's really nice. <laughs> I love it, babe. Okay, let's go back to our film Vice Academy 2 and see what happens next to our heroine, Linnea Quigley. Maybe she'll get to keep her clothes on. What an interesting plot point that would be. <laughs> oh, hi. <coughs> Don't mind me. After watching that last segment of our film, Vice Academy 2, I realized that I better protect myself. After all, I have enough problems keeping men away from me. Can you imagine the kind of trouble I would be in if I had any Spanish flies in the house? You guys go to commercial. I'll just stay here killing potential trouble. A donde este flies. <coughs> 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 Everybody, and welcome back to USA Up All Night. You know, while you were away, I was looking up the word vice in my dictionary. It says here, vice, noun, evil action, depravity, and dirty. Gee, Dan Quayle doesn't seem that bad to me. <laughs> you guys go back to our film Vice Academy 2 for more crazy action. Now, Spiro Agnew, he was a real vice president. Okay, everybody, I think you better go to commercial, and I think our heroines better get some shots. After all, sleeping with Petrolino could be bad for their health. Hi, hey everybody. We're in the middle of USA Up All Night and our film Vice Academy 2. You know, I asked the Vice Academy near my house to please send an application to Phil in order to be a vice officer. Let's see what they have sent. <laughs> Gee, when I asked for a form to fill, I didn't expect it to be a maiden form. You guys go back to our film Vice Academy 2. I'll see what else they have in here. <laughs> now these, I expected. 
everybody! Are you following the plot of this film? It's very simple. First you start with girls in tight dresses. Then you add sexual tension, in this case, Spanish fly. What does that equal? Ten million dollars in video rentals! Okay, you guys go to commercial, and when we come back, I'll explain to you the success equation for Debbie Does. <laughs> Never mind, anyone can figure that out. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to USA. Up all night. I know that a lot of you are probably really anxious for us to get back to our film Vice Academy 2, but I ask you, wouldn't you prefer a scene from Shakespeare's Macbeth? I have given... And know how tender tis love, the babe that melts. We're sorry, but we're experiencing technical difficulties. All right, all right. I'll toss the show back to the film. Gosh, the suits at USA never give me any creative license. Let's go back to Vice Academy 2, and you can watch girls run around in their underwear. Huh. We have to go to commercial, but listen, I don't want you guys dialing 911 hoping to get Bimbo Cop. I think she's only available through mail order. And when I say mail order, I mean mail. M-A-L-E. Hi, we're back to USA. Up! All night. And you'll really be anxious to see what happens next in our film Vice Academy 2. Here, I'll give you a hint. Figured it out yet? Okay, how about now? Mm -hmm. Hey, if I take off anymore, you'll find the rest of this show on the Playboy channel. Let's just go back to the film and you can watch them strip. I bet you are happy to see Holly and Dee Dee undressing. Let's go to commercial and if any of you are mad that you didn't get to see them naked, just be glad it wasn't Miss Devonshire who was stripping. Welcome back to USA, up all night. Let's go back to our film, Vice Academy 2, and listen to Spanish Fly talk about the end of civilization coming any day. Oh yeah, that reminds me, be sure and watch Gilbert Gottfried on Saturday nights at this same time for his show on the USA Network. Hi gang, why don't you go to commercial and when we come back, we'll see if Petrolino gets caught with his pants off. <laughs> hey, who does he think he is anyway, Ted Kennedy? And welcome back to USA Up All Night. You know, we're near the end of our film, Vice Academy 2. And speaking of Vice, I have an important question. Whatever happened to Philip Michael Thomas? I think somebody better send out an all-points bulletin for his career. In the meantime, let's go back to the final segment of Vice Academy 2. Now, Don Johnson's career isn't too hard to find. It's attached to Melanie Griffith. <laughs> everybody. Well, that's the end of our Linnea Quigley Film Festival. I hope you liked our trip to the Fangoria Horror Party and you've enjoyed the antics of our vice officers. I'm sure with officers like that, some of you are going to want to go out and commit a crime. But save yourself the trouble. I happen to know most vice officers don't look like Linnea and her friends. Do you remember the girl gym teachers? That's what will be staring you down if you commit a crime. Gee, it's just not worth it. Anyway, join us next week for two more movies and a great new location. And for those of you who are still up, why don't you park your butts and get ready to scream our next film, American Drive-In. Until next week, here's a showbiz tradition to keep you warm. The Sizzle Kiss. Good night. Mm -hmm.